Alright, hey, what's up guys? We're playing Geometry Wars 3. Now, this is a game that I I played 1 and 2, like back in high school. Um, and I haven't gotten too deep into this one, but this is the first time that Michaela's ever playing Geometry Wars. So I thought this was an interesting one to get her started on. Yeah, this will be fun. I'm already I'm already liking the music and the look of the game, so I hope that the gameplay itself is good and I don't suck. <laughs> well, um, the nice part about it is uh, with single player, it has like more 3D maps, where oh, okay. with multiplayer, we're going to be more on a flat plane, like oh, the older they games. They skimp you on the multiplayer. A little, little bit, right. but it makes sense when you play the single player. So. All right, all right. So, what do you think? dive straight into this. As you can see, I haven't gotten very far. <laughs> okay. Game, game's kind of hard. At oh. least for me, I mean... Uh, is it like... Because I like puzzle-type games. Um, some, some, at least. Some. No, this is more like um, arcade shooter kind of oh, thing. Like Galaga or something? Or like, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. So, let me oh, give you a rundown, do uh, rundown of the controls real quick. Okay. Um, left stick is the move okay. around. Right stick is to shoot. You'll shoot in the direction of, that you press the stick. Oh, okay. All um, right. So it's just like a con continuous stream of, if I could word out my face right now, um, continuous stream of bullets or ammunition or whatever it uses. Yeah, it's uh, unlimited ammo. Um, cool. You can get uh, abilities that will kind of change your um, like type of gun you have or oh, whatever. So exactly like Galaga, pretty much. Just yeah. a more modern, modernistic it's, type. It's a very classic feel to the game, yes. Alright. So let's let's do the thing. Let's do the things. So this one's gonna be on a disc, and the, the enemies are just gonna spawn all around. So it's a very trippy game. It might take oh. a little bit to get into it. Okay. I take it you're supposed to collect the little green things. Yes. And avoid yeah. everything else. Oh shoot! I've already died. Look at that. So you have uh, in this mode you have unlimited lives. And basically, you're just trying to get as much points as possible before the timer ends. Okay. And the hard part is like Shit. paying attention where you're going, what you're shooting at, and what's being spawned right on top. Exactly. Yeah. It's a very mind. Oh my game. god! All right. Did you see that? They all like ganged up on me right there for a second. I'm too busy watching myself. Right. To be <laughs> I'm like too busy making sure I don't die to watch you. <laughs> <laughs> to watch you not die. And. uh... Each um, different shape interacts oh, the same. Yeah. And uh, you know, they're, I mean, they're all different, but um, you kind of have to learn what each shape does. Whoa, that that was not fun. That just opened a black hole of nothing right there. I feel like we should like try to have each other's backs as much as possible in this. Because holy crap, it's really hard to do. Oh my lord, I don't know how I survived that. You just got blown the fuck up. I, I think I died like four times already. Yeah, it's a okay. I try to. Ah! Oh god, I was right in the middle of that. No! Oh no, wait, it just ended. Okay, thank god. I was like, did I really just F up that badly? Okay, so. One star. I think we need, like. You're supposed to have. A certain amount of points to unlock the next level. I got. Our high score. Period is one star on there, two stars on that one, and type nothing in. yet. Claustrophobic. Oh, that sounds fun. So, keep moving up, I guess. Okay, so we have to hit like ten thousand something points for this one to be able to. Wait, can we even destroy those little red things? No, that. Uh, but oh, uh, you. Red. Yeah. So now you have obstacles. Oh, that that makes all the sense in the world. Let's give us a tinier map with more shit that can't be moved. Uh, what I kind of like about this one is where Ooh. with the older games, you pretty much had different game modes, yeah. but, uh, but um, it was always the same map. So it, it is kind of interesting that oh, they crap, add new maps with different objectives. Or obstacles, rather, than objectives. Okay, so don't try to collect the little dots that show up on the screen. Uh, just the little green shards. Whoa! 
Oh my god, I'm cornered. Fuck! Damn it. Ah, oh, shit. I did it again. Oh. And I died on the oh, non-moving oh, object. Man, I, like, I lived for a freaking second there. And then I got cornered between ev all the things. Just all the things. Yeah, honestly, I think we're supposed to play the first one a few times to get a little bit better at that one before moving on. No, oh, fuck it, why? <laughs> what you're supposed to do is. Just running guns blaze and literally. <laughs> no, I know, I know what you're saying, though. You're probably supposed to get good at this before you F up so royally. I think that was the mistake in the last one, though. We were just shooting stuff and not collecting the things that we shot. Oh, I was trying. <laughs> well, then, oh, oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Nazi zombies. Train. Nazi zombies. Train. Oh, 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 that's what you meant. Oh, okay, wait, I can train these fuckers. Hang on. I got it, I got this, I got us. I'll be bait, and you just fucking shoot everything that comes at me. Oh, and then I got it. Oh, oh, fuck. Oh, no. Where, where am I? Oh, I'm being... I hate how it just spawns you in random places. Oh, oh mother of God. Ah. Shit, this is hard. I thought I was good at this shit. Get the fuck... So, I'll just kamikaze into all the little red things, and just try to get them off of me. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure I've already died a lot more than you have in this game. Oh, wait. What? Oh, okay, cool. Hey. You wanna try the other one? We didn't even reach the target for the first star for that one. <laughs> God. Yeah. <laughs> I don't remember how I got two stars on this. Hey, that's fucking better than the both of us could do together, so there you go. Well, it is multiplayer, so I probably had help. Fair point. But, um, actually, real quick. Um, let's jump over to, uh, classic. Um, let's shoot it. Oh, I'm, okay. Okay, so, classic, this is, uh, like, based off of the older games. Okay. Um, they're only single player, but kind of gives you a little bit more of a feel for what it's like. So, Retro Ball, that's, I believe, the first one? Oh, I'll give you a quick demonstration, and I'll let you take a swing at it. Alrighty. I also can play with keyboard and mouse, which... Oh, wait, this does look... This does look a little... Definitely feels a little bit easier, but again, it's all, uh... How... I really... yeah. The freaking... just the... The base game of, uh, the, of the third one is so damn hard. I... I mean, some people are probably would be watching and being like, "There's ain't any shit what you talking about, but right. at least for me, compared to the first two, like, it's like the Dark Souls version of Geometry Ge Wars. Yeah. Because <laughs> some of those situations are just ungodly difficult. Right. It's like they expect you to just, like, how many times can you make a fool of yourself? Really? And some people out there, you guys out there are probably just like, oh yeah, this ain't nothing, this ain't nothing. Well, you know what? <laughs> It'd be kind of fun, I think, for them to post their own, like, here's our score, here's how we did, just so we can sit here and shame ourselves a little bit more. <laughs> no? <Yeah. laughs> I mean, I, I, just my friends locally high score versus mine, it's just, uh, at least with the old school one, um, I've always been pretty much bottom of the leaderboard, and they had, like, ten times the score I did. Oh, jeez. Well, I mean, hey, you know what? At least you're having fun, though, right? Like, that's oh, yeah. the whole point of this stuff, is to just have fun. And the graphics of the game look really cool. Like, 
I love the kind of techie feel to everything and the fact that like the way that you move around the map, how it just kind of like, it moves it, it with you. Like, yeah. yeah, it's very interactive. It's very kind of, it, it's a fun little game. Like, I like it. It yeah. would definitely piss me off after a little while, but I, I like it. Damn it. <laughs> um, the second one actually is my favorite. Um, and mainly with the way that um, it looks because they, they definitely did a good job of changing it up for this one. But with the second one, it looks a little bit more dark um, in terms of just like, it looks like you're in space. Oh, wow. And, um, See, now that'd be really cool. And then, then you're on like this very like transparent digital grid. Um, huh. but much like this grid, but you know, more transparent and you know, viewing the space with the... So it was way more See, trippy with yeah, all the now explosions. That, would, that sounds pretty awesome. Like I, I am a huge fan of space type stuff. I love space. Um, it's very, but it's 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 hard not to get distracted when you're looking at spacey stuff and go, hey, check that out. That's really oh shit, I died. Like <laughs> yeah, like uh, probably after the episode, I'll bring it up so you can see it. It's it is definitely crazy, but. With with uh, the old school ones, they had different modes and like these uh, King of the basically King of the Hill kind of style. Um, pacifism is uh, you don't uh, okay one life, no guns, trigger gates to kill enemies. Oh hell, that sounds horrific, actually. So, yep, no guns, and these are the trigger gates. So the concept is train them up and lead them to a gate. Yep, oh, I, alright, okay. I'll show you how good I am at this game. <laughs> hey, that's okay, we all gotta start somewhere. Oh, you had them! You. Oh, wait, what? Oh, you have to go through the gate. Uh huh. Then you just. Oh. God damn it. <laughs> okay. And they have to be oh, pretty close it... to it, too. But then it destroys the gate too. Oh yeah, the and if you hit the little like dumbbell side of the gate, you die. Oh crap. So you have to go inside the gate. I mean at least at least gates seem to spawn pretty quickly, so Oh yeah, you can But I could see you getting up into like higher well maybe not higher levels, but like getting further into it and then having like this massive train going on and going, Oh my god, where's the gate when you need one? Yeah. And it's just like yeah, that that's that that's that's ragey right there. That's rage worthy right there. <laughs> sure. Um. Well, I mean, I, I I like it. It's definitely something that seems like it'd be fun to just kind of like a a kind of somewhat of a mindless like just blow off some steam and kill some shit kind of game. Like, but yeah. it looks really cool. It looks really techy, and it's kind of like I like it. I think it's pretty cool. Definitely, definitely would recommend this one. Yeah. It's so fun. You got retro with uh, the three lives. Um, so you just get as many points as possible with three lives. Evolved. Um, score as many points as you can with three lives. Mm -hmm. uh, very similar to the retro. Um, uh, it's a little bit different. But then, uh, Deadline is, um, you don't have lives, but if you die, it kind of, um, so you have to go within the time limit. But, uh -huh. um, I get as many points as possible, but if you die, it kind of draws back how many points you can get. Oh, yeah, because I... Got okay, so that was like stuff. when when we would die and it would blow up everything around us for a second, and then it's like, oh, well, you just lost all that, that you could have gained as points. Yeah, so you still, you know, that, that don't want to just die, but... Okay, so kamikaze into the little red cubes would have been a bad idea. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. You don't get points for those ones. Also, it doesn't help that I'm playing on the Steam controller. Which uh, doesn't really have right stick. I guess it's not too bad, but it's, it's the controls are still relatively smooth. So that's oh well, oh okay. Never mind. I see what you're talking about. Yeah, the little like mouse pad kind of thing. Which I I I'm, I have mixed feelings about the Steam controller. I in in certain aspects, um, it's I really enjoy it. Um, funny enough, where I guess it's made for like first person shooters. That's actually not my Forte um, with this controller, uh, but it, basically, this is the point of this controller is supposed to break the um, uh, barrier between like non-controller uh, games. Mm -hmm. um, 
since it's uh, the right stick is actually a mouse. Oh wow! So um, it uh in the way that like it works, so you can play. Uh, it's like supposed to be for Steambox or whatnot that uh, mm -hmm. Steam Machine, whatever it's called, um, where you're playing on your it basically a couch living room setup with your gaming computer, and this is supposed to help you break the the gap between. Okay. The non uh, the keyboard and mouse and the controllers. That's actually so it's supposed to be a nifty little in between. Uh, a lot of my friends absolutely hate it. Just cannot stand the concept of it. Just they try playing with it. They're just like it's, it's gross, and terrible feeling. I've to, I've warmed up to it. It just the first person shooter rather do keyboard and mouse. Um, a more of an adventure game rather use control. You know. So I can play. Like, I've, I've played all the way through um, the new D uh, Doom with it, and uh, I this is like my go-to controller when I'm playing like Rocket League, because I don't do a whole lot of camera interactions, so it's not yeah. much different. But I, I like the way it feels in my hand. I will definitely do it like that. And what, one thing that's really cool is um, when you are playing first-person shooters, you can have your uh, thumb on the pad. And just move the controller <laughs> without moving your thumb. Okay. And it like does a very small um, adjustment to your huh. aim. So if like you're sniping or something. Yeah, that would be pretty useful for something like that. I, I, I got you. I haven't got the hang of it, but in in using it that way. But I mean, in theory, it sounds like a good idea. You also have two buttons back here that are nifty. Oh, I did something. <laughs> All right, and we're back. We had some uh, technical difficulties there. But, um, so you wanted to give one of the modes a try, or what do you feel? Oh, um, that's okay. I I actually, I liked the original. It's kind of nice to have some backup. <laughs> that's definitely true. Um, All right, so we'll But jump. my god, was that difficult. Oh, yeah. And it doesn't get any easier. Nope, it doesn't seem so. I like the designs of the little ships that you get, though. It's really, it kind of reminds me of, uh, of Audio Surf, in a way. Yeah. Like, except Audio Surf, the really cool thing about that one, you'll have to give that one a try if you haven't already. Um, I played it back in the day. I, it's been a while. Oh, yeah, no, it's been a while since I've played Audio Surf, but it's kind of cool because in Audio Surf, the map, if I remember correctly, is basically um, generated based on the music that you upload into it. So you can, you can put any kind of music in there. So imagine, oh my god, imagine trying to play Audio Surf to metal. Oh. It would just be absurd, but um, it's it's funny because I, I loaded a lot of things like uh, just random music that I enjoy, like God is an Astronaut and uh, like Explosions in the Sky. It's like post-rock that was kind of like just to get the hang of it. And um, so it creates kind of a really cool little map based on that. And you can go, you can kind of like control this neat looking little spaceship. And um, each little ship that you can choose from has different abilities. And it's just a, it's a fun little game, and the concept of this it, the ships at least and whatnot kind of remind me of that in a way. So it's it's fun. Maybe maybe we'll give that a try here in the not too distant future. Uh, through the fire of flames on uh, on expert. Oh jeez. Oh my god, no. <laughs> oh shit, I just forgot how to shoot, and I think I blew up everything. Um, right trigger is a uh, bombs. We only had two, and the. Uh, I've already uh, destroyed one. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh crap. We are not experts at this game by any means, so no harm no fun. I call that beginner's luck, maybe? What would, call that what, would, luck. what would be the opposite of beginner's luck? And we'll call it that. <laughs> the, uh, beginner's misfortune. There we go, I like it. Alright, All right. we, can, we can have that. Oh my goodness. So I, I think ignorant you, myself. If you say, hey, hey now. <laughs> ignorance is not a bad thing. Stupidity uh, is bad. Yeah, you know what? I guess I have to agree with you there because at least ignorance, if if an ignorant mind is just open enough, and I mean just enough, you can overcome that. You know, you can, you can, you can, as long as you're capable of learning, right? Yeah. Cause stupidity, there is no fucking here. Yeah, because stupidity is knowing better and and choosing the bad choice anyway. Where, um, ignorance is you had no prior knowledge. You had no reason to, like, playing those, um, like, 
Mario uh, Mario Maker games, where um, you know you you it, it sets you up for failure in a lot of the harder maps because you know they it, they're trying to trick you, and it, it's not your fault. It's not skill that prevents you from being able to progress. Mm -hmm. It's ignorance of the map. You don't know what to expect, right? And that's not your fault. It's just being able to use what you learn and being able to advance with that. Right. And then you are no longer ignorant, and now it comes to either skill or knowledge. Mm -hmm. Or both. Typically both. Which most people lack in. Definite ability to learn. But yeah. So I would have to agree with that. Alrighty. So I feel like we're making some leeway. Yeah. All right. So um, I guess we're going to go ahead and call it for tonight because it seems like we are not going to be able to progress past the third level without a little bit of practice there. Um, and me being absolutely brand new, it's... Yeah, I kind of threw this it's, game at you. You had no idea what you were yeah, getting. Yeah, no. I mean, it, it looked fun. Like, it looked like a lot of fun. And describing it, I was like, that does sound like a pretty fun game. Um, and it looks really cool. Like, I would definitely recommend it, like, with friends and whatnot um definitely with friends because doing this by yourself could be very very tricky and rage inducing i would say but um yeah it's a, it's it's kind of a fun game i would recommend just for some kind of chill time with some friends to have a good conversation with and just kind of shoot some stuff uh, definitely gets the more people you get you think it would be easier but then it starts getting more chaotic way more confusing but, oh, and the more that you die, the more points you end up losing, so be sparingly with your deaths. As if that was an actual, like, thing tip. that you could determine, like... Yeah, don't die. <laughs> <laughs> Easier said than done, clearly. Um, anyway, so I think we'll go ahead and call it for tonight, but um, if you like what you see, please like and subscribe, and we will catch you in the next video. See you on the next one.